Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Kalahari High School event. Check in with 99904E. I'm a banana coming in on Indiana. Actually, a last second replacement team, Snowstorm here. They drove up from Indiana and they're doing really well so far. Uh, currently ranked 12th as we're filming this and looking absolutely phenomenal on the field. Lots of cool changes. We're going to be diving in on this robot here, uh, talking about some of their intake area, some of their methodology behind it as well. And then we're really going to be honing in on their lift and their catapult area, uh, ratcheting system as well, too. Talking about why they're going with a different bumper. So let's learn more about I'm a banana coming up here on Bits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Grow Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Joe, let's start out on your robot coming on the front end here. Talk to me about uh, your use of flex wheels for it with your intake. Any major changes you made and kind of decision making behind going that route? Um, yeah, so the reason why we use flex wheels instead of like most other teams using rubber band rollers is because we usually always got stuck in other people's rubber band rollers or I mean they get stuck on just any part of the robot that sticks out of something. And also major changes is we originally had our intake more forward. So we moved it back so it had a better like lifting arc. Um, we also have these uh, Delrin uh, sleds that we laser cut at our school, which really help for lifting up the intake and getting those tri balls scored straight into that goal by lifting up and just releases the tri ball right into that goal. Yeah, I really like the use of Delrin, by the way. We see a lot of teams uh, going like the polycarb route for things, and yeah. Delrin to me, it, it, you get a lot of the benefits of polycarb, but even slicker, right? And I think that's a, that's a great thing with that as well, too. So I love that setup for it. Uh, what did you guys have before this type of intake? Um, before we. We originally did also have a flex wheel intake. Uh, we didn't have as many flex wheels. We added more because we needed more of that like grip on the tri balls. We also used to uh, have it directly driven. The motor was directly attached to the intake, but it was on the outside. It would get bumped a lot, had a lot of scratches. You can see some scratches on it right now from because it's the same motor. And we also um, went to gearing it, but we found that sometimes it would just mess up. So then we chained it just so that the motor could be slightly more back. And we also protect that with the Delrin so that it can't break as easily. Coming into this tournament, like I said, you came in last second for it as a replacement team for it. Were you able to make any changes coming into here or is this just kind of straight from your, um, uh, your last event? We had to, we didn't realize is that we were like a centimeter out of size. So we had to come up with a jank way to hold this intake up. Um, we, we also had to uh, get the zip tie in the right placement. So we could get that win point during Auton. It's just been in a, a journey here when we yeah, just a couple jerry rig things to get it going, right? Yeah. So for sure. Let's uh, pass over to Jack, talk about uh, your shooter and your lift area. A couple uh, things we were talking about ahead of time. You wanted to go through kind of your methodology behind the two bumpers uh, on there as well. And then we'll showcase uh, how that works with your lift system. Yeah, so the reason we have two bumpers and some other teams we see with one bumper, it's just that we can have two places of contact and it makes it all of our shots more consistent where we can predict where it goes and how it'll go there. And so whenever we have this, it'll when we have a tri ball on there, it'll always make contact like right here. Even if one of the bumpers is like loose or it's falling around, the other bumper will make contact in the same place and that will make it go to the same section each time. Can we see one shot out there? I'd love to see the angle on what that looks like too. Yep. So you guys are going pretty low angle uh, with their shots on that. Yep. Um, with the way the meta of this game has evolved, we're seeing less and less of that match load or a very short burst of that. Mm -hmm. How has that changed for you guys in regards to uh, approaching a match? So yeah, we've actually barely match loaded this entire event. We've realized that it, this game really is starting to be just about speed. How quickly yeah. can you get some off before someone comes up and is able to block you? So uh, most of this event, we've been uh, match loading directly into our intake or we've just been bowling down the alley by dropping on a corner. Yeah. So when, um, when we're on the match load zone, we'll drive straight onto the bar and it'll lift us up with these, uh, with these wings, with these uh, ramps. And then I'll put it straight in here and it'll just go straight into our intake. Yeah, I was watching your last match, definitely a strategy that you were taking for that. And yeah, it just has become very effective to have just a lot of control, I think these days mm -hmm. uh, with the way it's going. Uh, talk to me more about your lift uh, mechanism. Let's see that deploy out. Yeah, so our lift mechanism is supported by these rubber bands on both sides. It gives it a bit of an extra boost and it only has two pistons on each side 
helping it push up. Um, it's about, I'd say, 26 to 28 inches high, and it's just really good for those matches when we have someone else with a lift trying to block us. Usually they're a bit lower or just a bit higher, but since we have that, this arc is higher because it's kind of tilted back compared to our low arc, so this will get a higher arc when it comes over. Overall, uh, I think this team, a lot of great versatility that you brought into it. I can't wait to see how you do here. Like I said, doing well as we're recording this, so good luck uh, as you hopefully get into the playoffs and beyond as well, too. And good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks for taking time. And this is uh, I'm a Banana. Good luck, guys. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.